Well, good morning. How you doing today? Are you excited? Well, I'm here again. <laughs> you ever just want to say that to the devil? You know, you get up in the morning and say, hey, I'm here again. Praise the Lord, you know. And then you just want to praise the Lord because he's so good to you. You ever just want to do that? You know, wake up and he hears some praise. You know the devil don't like that when he get up in the morning and you just give God some praise. Oh, just ring it out there and, you know, boy, I tell you, he doesn't like that. Just praise the Lord. You know, God is good. Amen. Reminds me of that scripture, matter of fact, there, you know, in uh, Psalm 63, 3, it says, Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Isn't that good? That's what we need to be doing with our lips is praising the Lord. And, you know, this is a good day. This is going to be a good week. And you need to praise the Lord. You know, just take a minute to do that. I thank you, Lord. You're so good to me. I thank you this is going to be a good week. Yeah, just take some time and enjoy God's wonderful presence. Praise the Lord. You know, he is good and his mercy endureth forever. You believe that? Well, we're going to do our coffee with confessions today. I hope that you're excited about it today. You know, get your coffee, get your tea if that's where you're at there. Wherever you're at in the country, whatever you do for your morning, get what you need there. And uh, we're going to do our coffee and confessions this morning. You can do them right off the website with us. We're just going to be reading them right off the website. And uh, you can go to jeremiasmithministries.pobbean.com. And uh, you can do those coffee and confessions with us. And uh, we're basically just speaking the things we need to speak for this week. Speaking things, calling those things that be not as though they were this week. And we also do a few little uh, prayers there, you know, anointed prayers right off the website there. We're going to do that together. We're so glad you're with us. I hope that you're pumped up. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful morning. Now, we do go through this kind of quick. If you're here for the first time, it's because we're trying to do it, with, you know, make sure people can do it on their break or before they're going to work and kind of can get some good scriptures in them and speaking the right things as they start their week. And, you know, you can download it and listen to it a few times during the week, you know, make sure that you're doing the things that you need to do. I'm just coming along to encourage it, you know, and help you to do those things, you know, speaking the right things each week, you know, and making sure that you're speaking the word of God out of your mouth. And it's important to do every day. You know, we have to do this every day and you're calling those things. You're causing those things to come to pass in your life. And we find it so important that we take the time to do this. Praise the Lord every week. And so we're going to get into this today, and uh, we're going to go to the top of our confession sheet there. If you go to jeremiasmithministries.podbeam.com, you just hit the confessions tab there, and uh, we just start there, and you can do them along with us there. And if you don't want to do the confessions, or you got some headphones on, you're at work there, it's great meditation. And uh, so you can meditate on the scriptures there as we go along here. And uh, like I said, we're glad to be here. It's an honor to be with you today. And I hope that you get to enjoy this with us today. And I uh, hope that you pass it on to a friend to be a blessing to them. You know, that's what we want to do is we just want to be a blessing to you and to whoever you can get it to there so that you can help them grow in God and so that they can have the right things in their life. You believe that? Well, let's get into it here real quick here. And uh, we're going to start right at the top. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all. All his benefits. Do you believe Jesus has some benefits? Well, we're going to talk. Let's, we're, we're going to do the confessions for those things right now. Psalms 103.2 says, Lord, in obedience to your word, we recall receiving new today. All the benefits Jesus has provided for us. He has forgiven all of our sins. He's our healer. We receive our healing and health today. My life is redeemed from destruction. I'm crowned with loving kindness and tender mercies. He satisfies my mouth with good things, so my youth is renewed like the eagles. He executes righteousness and judgment for me against oppression. I am free. He makes known his ways to us. We are his child, and we follow him. We receive his grace and mercy and obtain it in times of need. Isn't that good? You know, I don't know about you, but I like to obtain some grace and mercy when I need it. And we're just speaking that into our lives. And we're going to receive his grace and mercy every time we confess this. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to also go through here. And uh, we're going to do a few little prayers here. And only very short little prayers here. And we're going to go through here. These are anointed prayers. And when you pray these, you know, God it gives him the right to do some wonderful things in your life. Just look at the prayers as you pray them. And, you know, think about what you're praying. That, you know, they're causing good things to happen in your life. And uh, we're going to pray these anointed Ephesians prayers real quick here. Ephesians 1, 16 through 23, it says, You have given me 
the spirit of wisdom and revelation of Jesus Christ. I thank you that the eyes of my understanding are being enlightened to know the hope of your calling and the riches of a glory of inheritance in the saints. You are revealing to me the exceeding greatness of your power according to the working of your mighty power which raised Christ Jesus from the dead and set him at your right hand. According to Ephesians 3, 14 through 20, it says a grant, uh, this, uh, grant and what it says there is, and we're praying it to ourselves, grant us according to the riches of our, your glory to be strengthened with might by your spirit in our inner man, that Christ may dwell in our heart by faith that we, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that we might be filled with all the fullness of God. I praise you, Lord, that you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Oh, those are some powerful prayers, those first two for sure. And uh, let's get into the last one here. Colossians 1, 9 through 11 says, I pray that you fill me with the knowledge of your will, with all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that I might walk worthy of you and all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of you, strength with all might, according to your glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Unto you, Lord, be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Whoa, those are some powerful prayers. I tell you, there's some good stuff in there. Uh, you know, and you're causing those things to happen when you pray those prayers and you believe God does it for your life. He's doing it right now. And I believe that you, a lot of you are going to be majorly affected by just praying those three prayers, not even just the confessions. I believe the confessions are doing some wonderful things in people's lives. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the rest of our confessions here. We're going to do some confessions for fear and worry. And uh, if you're having problems with fear and worry, these are some great confessions for fear and worry. If you need to, write down these scriptures too. Put them on the refrigerator, put them on the front of your car, you know. Make sure you're meditating on these things and speaking these things and causing these things to happen in your life. Let's pray. I, or let's, let's get into them. Let's pray. Let's do the confessions that we need to do right here for fear and worry. I am the body of Christ, and Satan has no power over me. I overcome evil with good, Romans 12, 21 and 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world, 1 John 4, 4. I will fear no evil, for you are with me, Lord. Your word and your spirit comfort me, Psalms 23, 4. I am far from oppression, and fear does not come near me, Isaiah 54, 14. No weapon for and against me will prosper, for my righteousness is of the Lord, Isaiah 54, 17. Whatsoever I do shall prosper, for I am like a tree by rivers of water, Psalms 1, 3. Lord, uh, you have delivered me from the evils of this world, for it is, the, is God's will, Galatians 1, 4. Excuse me. No evil will befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling, Psalms 91.10. For you have given your angels charge over us, and they keep us in all our ways, Psalms 91.11. In my pathway is life, and there is no death, Proverbs 12.28. I'm a doer of the word, and I'm blessed in my deeds, James 1.22 and 25. I take the shield of faith and stop everything the enemy brings against me, Ephesians 6.16. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. I forbid any sickness to come on me, Galatians 3.13. I overcome by the blood of Christ and the word of my testimony, Revelations 12.11. The devil flees from me because I resist him in Jesus' name, and that's James 4.7. The word of God is forever settled in heaven, Psalms 119.89. Great is the peace of my children, for they are taught of the Lord, Isaiah 54, 13. Boy, that's good to know. Don't you like knowing that your your kids have peace? It's good things to be confessing over your kids to say that the great is the peace of my children, for they're taught of the Lord. I like to know my kids have peace. You know, especially in this present world, it's good to know that your kids have peace. Isn't that good? Well, we're going to do some confessions of our material needs. Are you needing some stuff today? Well, these are some great confessions for material needs in your life. You know, need to be speaking it every day. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of a law, poverty, sickness, and death, Galatians 3.13 and Deuteronomy 28. For poverty, he's given me wealth. For sickness, he has given me health, 2 Corinthians 8 and 9. I am rich because I have the blessing of the Lord, Proverbs 10.22. I delight myself in the Lord, and he gives me the desires of my heart, Psalms 37.4. I have given and has given unto me good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, Luke 6. 638. I have all sufficiency of all things and abound to all good works. And that's 2 Corinthians 9 8. Uh, for my God has made all grace abound toward me. And that's 2 Corinthians 9 8. There is no lack, for my God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That's Philippians 419. 
And those are some wonderful scriptures there. And you might look those over, kind of meditate on those too as you go to sleep there if you're having some material needs there. And uh, we're going to do some scriptures here for guidance and worry. Are you ready for that? Some confessions for guidance and worry. And uh, we're going to start speaking some guidance and worry over our lives. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and do that. Are you needing guidance and worry? Are you needing guidance and wisdom? I meant to say wisdom there. Are you needing guidance and wisdom? Well, we're going to do some great scripture confessions for guidance and wisdom. Let's get into that. The spirit of truth abideth in me and teaches me all things. He guides me into all truth, John 16, 13. I have an unction from the Holy One, and I know all things, 1 John 2, 20. God gives me wisdom freely, James 1, 5. I'm always at the right place and at the right time. My steps are watered by the Lord, Psalms 37, 23. I have perfect knowledge of every circumstance I come up against, James 1, 5. I trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding, Proverbs 3, 5. In all my ways I acknowledge him and he directs my path, Proverbs 3, 6. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, Psalms 119, 105. He will perfect that which concerneth me, Psalms 138, 8. I let the word of Christ dwell in me richly in all wisdom, Colossians 3.16. I follow the good shepherd, for I know his voice. A stranger, I will not follow, John 10, 3 through 4. I am not conformed to this world, but I am transformed by the renewing of my mind, by the word, Romans 12, 2. Oh, those are some great confessions for wisdom there and for guidance. And uh, we're about to get to the end of our confessions here, and uh, we have some a list of them here we're going to do for comfort and strength, and we just have a few we added on there. Uh, but uh, if you're needing comfort and strength, these are some great things you can be saying over your life and saying before your every morning when you get up in the morning to be speaking and causing you to meditate on these scriptures. And uh, let's get into those real quick here. Just start with me here. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Isn't that a good way to start out? The joy of the Lord is my strength. You can say, I am strong because I have the joy of the Lord. Nehemiah 8, 10 there. And the Lord is the strength of my life. Psalms 27, 1. Greater is, greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. 1 John 4, 4. I will not let the word depart from before my eyes for it is life and health. Proverbs 4, 21 through 22. I let no corrupt words come out of my mouth, but that which is good to edify in Ephesians 4, 29. I refuse to give place to the devil, Ephesians 4.27. I speak the truth and love and grow up into him in all things, Ephesians 4.15. No weapon, or I'm sorry, no man shall take me out of his hand, uh, for I have eternal life, John 10.28. I let the peace of God rule in my heart, and I refuse to worry about anything, Colossians 3.15. That which I refuse to allow here on earth, God also refuses to allow, and that which I do allow, God also allows to come pass here on earth, Matthew 16.19. I'm a believer. Are you a believer today? I'm a believer, and these signs follow me. I speak with new tongues. I take authority over the devil. I lay hands on the sick, and they recover. Mark 16, 17 through 18. I am complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Colossians 2, 10. And then we just added a few here at the end. And I hope that you're enjoying this uh, wonderful, wonderful time together. And uh, these are the last confessions here, and I believe they'll be a blessing to you. And if you do it a lot with us, you know that these are just the last few that we do here. But I've put them on the end here because I enjoy them so much. And uh, let's go ahead and go over those. I am the healed of the Lord, First Peter 2.24, Isaiah 53.5. If you've been sick and you've been ill, this is a good way to start saying the right things. I am the healed of the Lord. Jesus already paid for it. And you should be saying, I'm the healed of the Lord, 1 Peter 2, 24, Isaiah 53, 5. Favor works out all my situations. Favor goes before me, behind me, side to side, Psalms 5, 12 there. No weapon that is formed against me will succeed. I brought out that translation because I really liked it there. No weapon that is formed against you today will succeed, Isaiah 54, 17. I agree with what has been prophesied for this year that is my year of overflow. This is your year of overflow, amen? That's what's been prophesied this year. If you're a believer today, you know it's your year of overflow, and I'm believing with you. This is your year of overflow, praise the Lord. I've enjoyed being with you. We love you a whole bunch, and I look forward to hearing and seeing you Wednesday there. And uh, we love you. God bless you. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you'd like to contact us for a prayer, praise reports, or offerings, go to jeremiahsmithministries.com. Thank you for listening.